is, higher than your problems, higher than the sins that you have committed, higher than the pain that you are going through. He is able to do what no man can do. my channel Sylvia Jumo here I welcome each and every one of you and today we are talking about the names of God and their meanings today's name that we are talking about is the name El Elyon let's see what this name means and where can we find this name of God in the Bible El is translated as God and it's used in conjunction with other words to designate various aspects of God's character so El means God Leon means most high. It's found 28 times in the Old Testament and in Psalms it's found 19 times. The first time El Elyon was found is in the book of Genesis 14 and it says, Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. God Most High. When we hear the word El Elyon, when we are speaking about God, when we are describing God, we use the word El Elyon to describe the highest authority, the level that God is. Also in Psalms 57 verse 2 it says, I will cry out to God most high, to God who performs all things for me. God is seen in Psalms 57 as the God most high who performs all things, the most high God who is God to you. Previously, we saw God as El Shaddai, the Almighty God, and Abraham encountered this God, and he became his God. If we keep on going, we see that God was revealed as El Elyon to Abraham again, when God delivered Lot through Abraham. God was seen as the Most High God. Genesis 14, 18 to 22, we see the whole story, how it unravels and how God is is revealed as the most high God. The highest level that you can describe God is the most high God. Who is God to you today? Psalms 57 verse 2, we see God as the most high, the God that performs all things. There is nothing higher than God. There is nothing that God cannot do. If it's according to his will, he can perform it for you. Psalm 78, 35. We see God in that verse as a compassionate and forgiving God. No matter where you have been, what you have done, God is the most high. He is a compassionate God. He is a forgiving God. He is ready to forgive you, to have mercy upon you. And I want to encourage you today, if you don't know who God is, who Jesus is, I want to introduce him to you. No matter where you have been through, what you have done, know that there is a God that loves you so much, that shared his blood for you. He died on the cross for you. And he brought you today to see this video, to receive the message that he loves you so much. I encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior before it's too late. He is the El Elyon, the most high God. He is higher than your problems, higher than the sins that you have committed, higher and the pain that you are going through, he is able to do what no man can do. And pray this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know you, Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to come into my life and be my savior and save me from my sins. I acknowledge you as El Elyon, the most high God, higher than my problems, higher than my pain, higher than my sins. You are a compassionate and merciful God. I accept you to be my Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope this video inspired you, blessed you today to get to know God and the characteristics of God, get to know who you call your God and the meaning of his names. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the button below, Links to all my social networks will be in the description box. Check my website, also will be in the description box. Say hi, I will respond back to you. So I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Remember, Jesus loves you so much. Take care. God bless. Bye.